Hello everybody, how are you doing? Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Unify controller on um, Proxmox. Uh, I had a Unify controller, I had some changes I need to do to it, ended up uh, damaging or messing up the container. So I'm going to do a new container again, this time with uh, proper settings. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a container. So we're going to go to create container up here. We're going to give the host name Unify, uh, set up our password, hit next. Uh, just make sure the uh, advanced button here is checked, it makes life a lot easier. Uh, I'm going to choose uh, Ubuntu 18.04, which is the LTS release. Next. Uh, for disk size, honestly, 8 gigs is much more than enough. Cores, we're going to give this one core also. I don't think it needs that much uh, CPU. Uh, the beautiful thing about containers uh, is that you can up the cores on the fly uh, for the most part. Okay, memory, we're going to give it uh, 2048, so about 2 gigs. Swap, leave it at 512. Network, we're going to make sure it's DHCP and we're going to hit uh, next. Uh, DNS is going to be used host settings. Next, uh, confirm. That uh, doesn't take too long. All done. I'm going to go to the container. We're going to start it. We're going to log in with root and the password we set. Uh, first things first, what we want to do is uh, issue a apt update command. So this way we can update the uh, container to the latest packages. Okay, uh, after the update, you can see it says that there's about 176 packages that can be upgraded. So apt upgrade again, and this will take a little bit of time. You can see all these packages are gonna be um, installed. I'm gonna hit enter. So during the update, if you see this screen, just hit uh, yes, and that's pretty much it. Let it continue. All right, so update done, and this didn't take too long. It took probably about a minute uh, on my uh, machine. All right, so let's clear the screen. First things first is uh, we can install the uh, Unify controller manually, but I found a really nice script that will help you. So if you go to the site, I have it linked in my... Uh, uh, description box below and you go to all script downloads and the Unify network controller and scroll all the way down to the latest version which is the version 5.12 tree and version 66 and as you can see here at the bottom um, this is going to be a uh, at the bottom right here where it shows up it is a uh, shell script so what we're going to do is we're going to copy the link location go back to Proxmox <clears throat> and we're going to do uh, let's first check if uh, wget is installed. Yes, it is installed. So wget, and we're going to paste the uh, URL. Okay, that downloaded the uh, script. Let's clear the screen. Uh, so first things first is, uh, you know, uh, just do a nano uh, unify. Have a look at the uh, script. Make sure there's nothing funny going on there. Uh, I've, you know, kind of auditioned the script and it looks pretty innocuous. Doesn't install any malware or anything like that. Okay, so first things first is uh, we're going to make this uh, script executable. So it's very easy. C-H-M-O-D plus X and then the executable name. Uh, that's it. And then we're going to run the executable or now the shell script is an executable. We're going to run it with a dot slash and unify enter and as you can see very simple uh, this script is going to run through its paces and set it up but as you can see it's installing a couple of packages like net tools app transport software properties common things like that it's going to go through all the prerequisites and uh, all the nice to haves to set up a unified controller script So after the uh, first round of uh, dependencies, it's going to ask you if you want to keep the script on your system after completion, and we're going to just hit enter for yes. And uh, we're going to next uh, proceed with uh, updating our system and installing all the packages, so enter.
All right, so the next option is going to be uh, pretty self-explanatory. Would you like to add the update script, uh, uh, the controller to, via APT, so you can uh, issue an APT update upgrade? So we're going to say yes. And it's going to add the sources to the list. And it is uh, completely done. So you can see here that the controller address is here. So all we're going to do is just copy that and put into the window. Hit uh, advanced, accept the security risk, and there we go. And uh, I actually have a backup for my old uh, controller software, so I'm going to restore from it. Um, So there we go. So I've just uh, uploaded my uh, backup file. Uh, it's going to upload the backup file, apply all the settings, and technically everything should be back to normal. Very, very painless and very, very quick. This will take a couple of minutes. So uh, let's have a look at the uh, CPU, how it's handling it. Yep, uh, RAM utilization is actually very low. I think we could probably cut this down a little bit more. CPU seems to be... There we go. Perfect. Let's see. If I remember my... Perfect. There we go. All done. And uh, this is basically going to uh, pick up all the devices and hopefully everything is going to be working soon. So there we go. All done. Perfect. So picked up the switch and uh, the access point. And you can see here, 18 clients connected. Nine clients here, everything is running just fine. Look at the dashboard, everything is great. Let's have a look at the statistics. Uh, look at our clients. Yep, there we go, I have the clients all set up with these uh, fancy little graphics, at least the Wi-Fi ones. You can see everything is just running perfectly fine. Uh, very, very simple, very, very easy. This script honestly is uh, amazing. Now, uh, something about the script, uh, it just says here that um, these are the, uh, Linux variants it supports. Uh, I had it on, <clears throat> I think it was uh, Debian Buster. Uh, and I ended up messing it up because I changed a couple of settings. I couldn't revert it. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna move it from Debian Buster to uh, uh, Ubuntu. I find that Ubuntu is a little bit better supported uh, for these scripts. Uh, anyways, that was pretty much it. Very, very easy to set up. You can see here that the CPU is barely uh, moving, so one CPU is more than enough. And I would say the RAM also, um, yeah, since I don't have anything fancy going on in my uh, unified control, just controlling literally one switch and one access point, uh, I'm going to reduce this. So I'm going to go to resources, uh, set the RAM to about, uh, let's see, 512 should be okay. Uh, 512 I think is a little bit uh, pushing it. Uh, let's make it one gigabyte. So yep, there we go. Perfect. So it's using about half and it's uh, giving us enough room to uh, uh, breathe in case the system needs a little bit more. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to issue a quick uh, reboot command. Uh, the reason I do that is just because I want to see if uh, the RAM how much of the RAM gets utilized because you know we did install a couple of things and uh, all the installation process does use RAM but now that the system is running up uh, yeah perfect about 500 about half a gig being used perfect and you can see the CPU utilization during the actual boot up of the uh, container spikes up but then once uh, the container is loaded let's see here So once the container is loaded, it's uh, yeah, it's not really using that much RAM or CPU. So everything looks pretty good. So I think one CPU is going to be more than enough. And uh, even then, like the uh, performance is quite snappy. Really don't have much complaints. And as you can see here, CPU is barely moving now. I think the RAM at one gig is more than enough. Perfect. Sounds good. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to link all this uh, below. It's a really really nice script. In fact, uh, Glenn R. Uh, does have a couple of other scripts which are pretty good. If you go here, you will see all the other scripts. I am using his uh, Unify video script also. I might do a video for that later on, but I'm quite happy with the setup right now. 
All right, guys, thank you very much for watching and hope this helps.